my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, I did a big mistake, I did a big mistake. What did you do? I'm so afraid right now. So, my roots were growing out and I wanted to like do a root touch up and I was calling around saloons and they were again not available or they couldn't do it and that salon I went to would close over the weekend and I have tomorrow a photo session. <sighs> so I saw a YouTube video about this girl and she was like, don't bleach it, just do it in one session. And I bought these two products. Dirty developer and this cream and I left it in for like I don't know like 40 minutes I wanted to leave it 30 but then I felt 40 and and my hair is falling out I'm freaking out look oh my gosh I'm so scared they're just like you can see they broke up right here I don't know I will never ever bleach my hair again and I'm just so afraid to comb it. Don't! I don't know what's going on. And... Uh, you see if I just like... I just like pull it and they are just coming out. Look, look. Stop, <laughs> stop pulling it. Stop! Guys... Don't do it! It's just falling out. And I was in the shower and I washed it off. And I felt like... Clumps, clumps coming out, and and I freaked out. Look at that. Look at that. I think I burned my hair. I burned my hair. Oh shit! First of all, I said it in a previous video. If your hair is falling out, don't pull it. But here on top, that's already finished. That has been broken off. It's 40 minutes. I have to say. 30 volumes, leave it in for 40 minutes, that's very long. But if you noticed in the corner there was a, a picture that she took from herself when it was processing in her hair. And she says, I was doing a root touch up. I was have a regrowth. I saw foils in the lengths. If you want to do a root touch up, just do the roots touch up. The roots, it says that roots touch up. Don't color the lengths. And if she has colored her lengths with the 30 volume on bleached hair already for 40 minutes, it's very logic that your hair is breaking off. It's not because she colored the regrowth with 30 volumes that it's breaking off. If your hair is already blonde on the length, don't bleach it again. Don't bleach it with 30 volumes and don't process it for 40 minutes. That's like three mistakes. Length has been colored, 30 volumes and, um, and also she put some foils in it. So again, extra heat. I'm feeling so sorry for her. I, 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 I am. Uh, you see that it's breaking her. She's really, she has no idea what to do now. The only thing I can say is don't touch it. Treatment, treatment, treatments. Every day, every minute, don't comb it, don't pull it. And just take a, 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 a section on the side and comb it over the, the section that has been falling out. Again, nobody deserves this uh, to have a really fallout of her hair. Um, but that are the mistakes that she made. She colored the length, 30 volumes, 40 minutes and foils. So a lot of mistakes has been made here. I will never ever bleach my hair again. If they were healthy, they were beautiful. And I, I just don't want to even to comb it. I'm just like, please stay on there. I don't know what to do right now. I just don't want to comb it, but you can see here. I just need to pull it and they're falling out right Don't! Now. And I already throw like strands away like my hair. I've never experienced something like this before. This is really scary. Don't ever bleach your hair. This is what you get. Three, four strings, they're just like coming out. Oh no, I just don't know. I don't know 
want to know. I don't know how they look. I don't want to even like dry down my. Don't. I fry my hair. I fried it. That's it. That's it. I. I from. I broke my hair. You can see it right here. And these will come out too. And I don't. I don't even want to brush it. I don't even want to dry it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I'm not gonna use them anymore. See all my hair just falling out. It's just falling out. It doesn't even hurt. It just falls out. Look. Don't pull it. Why are you still pulling it? Oh my god, I have hair all over now. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm don't, do no. This. I don't wanna be blonde anymore. I'm gonna. I don't wanna be blonde. Leave it alone, do nothing, and hope. And hope this. This. This will pass and I can move on. And get hair my grows hair back. back. My That's a good back. thing. They were so healthy. I've never done anything to them. And then this month. Oh my gosh, why did I do it? I shouldn't have done it. I, and I, I just want a root touch up. Oh my fuck. You did not do Today, a root touch up. I'm gonna be bleaching my hair. Then I'm gonna try and attempt to dye it like an ombre kind of green. We'll see how that's gonna work out. Who knows? Maybe it looks terrible and I'm just gonna go buy some brown and dye it over. I'm gonna be using box bleach from Sias. And it's already bleached. It's like blue green on the on the length. Using this as like tips or something because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, and I'm just gonna slap it on my head. I see it. And like hope for the best. So I'm just gonna you know kind of massage it in my scalp, turn my head upside it's down. It's not a shampoo. Put some more stuff in here. Take sections. I will make a video how to bleach or color your hair. With all the tips, all the steps that you have to take, I can tell them repeatedly uh, what they do wrong, but I will make a video. I will make a video about how to color and bleach your hair correctly. I will do it. For the best, to be honest. I just put it up and this is my hair. Looks like that. Like, look, at look at the length. Love that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Just wash out. The roots are really nice. Of course. The bottom is, well, kind of blue green, and the middle is really orange. Love that for me. The really dark parts, like these parts, I'm going to throw on a little bit more of bleach. Okay, I threw on some bleach on like the ends, the middle part. Why the ends again? 10 more minutes, I'm going to wash it out. I'm just going to have to lift a little bit. There were parts where it was like a little dark. I think there was just like not enough bleach on them. So this is what my hair looks like now. Oh, still orange. They gave me this platinum hair mask, like purple, purple hair mask. Maybe it takes out some of the yellow that's in there. It will do oh, nothing. It is running on my face. Like it would be ideal if it took out some yellow. It's not a I'm magical not product. Necessary. Okay, that's been in for like a minute. Here is no and toner. Let's we'll see if it made any kind of difference. I'm guessing, no, it did not. Okay, big reveal, and... Didn't do anything. This is a success. But let's see how well the green is gonna stay and act on my hair. And if it looks like crap, well, if it looks like crap, I don't know what I'm gonna do because uh, tomorrow's Sunday and all the stores are closed on Sunday in Germany. Perfect. 
I'm just gonna massage it in. What? I think there should be color everywhere. Yeah, okay. over your face also. So I'm gonna leave this in for like 25 minutes. Then I'm gonna go hop in the shower and I'm gonna wash it out. Oh, okay, it's green, the bottom. And... Whoa, okay. That's also something in, that pops up in my head. Whoa! Whoa, okay. What do I have to say about that? Nothing, I guess. Over there to my right is a mirror. And when I look at it with my ring light on, it's very vibrant. It's so vibrant. It's not as vibrant on camera, unfortunately. It's vibrant oh enough. My God. This is a look. It's a look. I got really like light green is the very bottom where it already was like it's really light bleach blue. And then the top is just the dark green. But hey, got some ombre hair. But I do need to clean my forehead and my side and from my ear. With some acetone, it should be fine. Acetone? You go too far. The thing is, I've never used a bleach this strong, so like, I'm actually scared because it's actually going to be like light this time. Or it might not be. I might be ginger. That looks right. No? Okay. My scalp's burning so much. Okay, so I've done all my roots, but like, my hair's burning. And like, I know it usually is supposed to burn. I've bleached my hair at least 10 times. I've never used bleach before, and it is a high lift one, so that's probably why. I've never had it hurt this bad. Like my hair literally feels like someone's got a torch up to it, like and that probably means my hair's gonna fall out. Basically, I've now got all the bleach in my hair and I'm gonna wait 40 minutes to set timer and I'm just gonna go. Hope my hair doesn't fall out, so I'll see you in 40 minutes. Basically I've just washed it out of my hair. I left it in about 35 minutes and just washed it out. Do you wanna know why? Because <laughs> I'm um, suddenly I just felt my head and um it was hot, as in not feeling hot, it was physically hotter than a radio. Look at that. Again the same thing. Why colouring the lengths if it's just the regrowth that you have to do? Why? Why colouring the lengths? It's already blonde. That's happening if you are doing the length that's already blonde. Oh my god. That's literally half my hair. After brushing my hair, so this does not include everything that fell out in the shower, everything that fell out, just hit this and there, everything that fell out whilst I was brushing my hair, is literally the same amount as on my fucking head. Basically, it's the next day and the whole of today I've just had my hair up in a bun because it's still been falling out and it was too dry to obviously straighten but it was so dry that I couldn't wear it down because it just looked disgusting. Sorry, this is what the final colour looks like when I get it out. Okay, so I know this isn't in focus but it's the best I could do. But this is next day and what my hair looks like. Okay, it's really yellow, first point. Um, that's because I put the toner in for literally like, you just keep that one in for like 40 minutes I think. I kept it in for five because I was just, by this point I was crying, I was like I just wanted to wash my hair and just make sure like all the hair that was falling out was out, like I was just didn't care. So my hair is yellow and not white, first point. Um, but I will fix it at a later stage when my hair gets somewhat healthy -er than it is right now. It's not uh, really healthy again but... Healthy -er. Um, Second point is that it is dry and ha. Uh, who would have expected that like it's not me but yeah it's super super dry so i'm literally not gonna wash it for fucking like three days i keep putting like leave-in conditioner in it but it's like these bits treatment are fine, but it's just it's just the ends are just disgusting and i really want to straighten it so like it can be like this but i've got to leave it just dry and all like don't this. straighten it 
the total hair loss that I have in my hand is... <gasps> Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Oh my fucking god. That's my fucking hair. I'm going to be messing with my hair again. I thought it would be a great idea to add some layers to my hair. Let's get to it. So I have pinned the hair back that I'm not going to be cutting. This is just like the under layer. It's a leg razor. Don't do your hair with a leg razor. Never seen that before. Of my hair. So that's going back there. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab the pieces of hair and cut it to like the length I want my layers to be. And I think I want it to be like right, right there. Um, but then you will have two layers. right here. Oh my god, I hope this doesn't come out bad, because like... It will not come out good either. Oh my god. Ah! That... Okay, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh don't look at me. So bad, I already know. It's not my hair. I don't have any hair. I don't even know if I did it the same length. I just went for it, you know? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked okay, up. Okay, that is definitely shorter and that is definitely longer yeah, than the last. Definitely. Time. That is like not the same length whatsoever. Oh my God. <sighs> of course this would happen. Oh, it's a little bit. Of course this would happen. So now I'm going to be grabbing my razor and just kind of like cutting, like making it less of a blunt cut. Hopefully this works. Uh, I'm not a professional, so I don't know if it's going to Clearly. Happen, but like, hopefully. I feel like I need a sharper razor or something. A normal uh, razor? No, the leg run. It's crazy. Oh, look crazy, at that crazy, scissors. Crazy. Again, a craft scissors. <laughs> look, that's how it's going to look. Yeah, and two layers. I uh, said it before. I don't know what to do. I can't fix it. It's so blunt. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's switch to these back to these and then go back to the razor. Oh my god, I'm like messing up my hair. Dear Lord Jesus, please be with me. I know I mess with my hair a lot, but please, I can't have ugly hair. Why are you do? But I'm going to San Antonio to watch the Spurs game, and I don't want to have ugly hair. Okay, let's switch back to the razor. Yeah, let's switch back. Maybe I just need to be looking at it. Like directly. I feel like this is not good for my hair at all. Oh my god. This is so bad, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna move on to this side because I don't think this side is gonna get any better. This, I don't even know. Um, Mental breakdown. Maybe I am going through an emotional breakdown. And maybe I didn't know till now. Okay, so that's the closest I think I'm gonna get. Oh my god, this piece of hair is so much shorter than I think. That's bad. But here's how it looks. Uh, it probably looks so bad. But like, whatever, you only look one. The least parts are like the worst part. And I need to fix them. But it doesn't look that bad. And I think I'm gonna go make an appointment to go get a haircut. So it's better, but... Lesson learned, don't try this at home. Do not try cutting your hair with a razor because it's not gonna work well. Or
or at least if you do it, don't cut it short and then use the razor. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy my misery. Uh, please give this video a like or a thumbs up or even share it with your friends, please, because this kind of sucks. Wow. I never seen somebody cutting her hair with a leg razor. Never. That is something crazy. First of all, she's cutting her hair in the front, two different lengths. The one was very short than the other one. And if you're putting one section in a ponytail and the front just cutting it off, you know you have two layers. You cannot connect that with the leg razor. It's impossible. You have to connect it with a scissor and a good scissor, not a craft scissor like she's using. So that's really funny to see. So it was a first for me to see somebody's cutting her hair with a leg razor. Maybe I should uh, use it in my salon and give it a try. Maybe I found something new in my salon. My clients will be very happy with it. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. For now, I'm going to say, Tchau,